What's up guys, welcome back to Heroes of Dragon Age. This is an episode about the Avars and about the creatures. We'll start with the Avars, it's very short because I will not have any of those. I only have one, two maybe, no, I think I, I did consume the, the rare one. There's nothing special to talk about those other than you, you probably have seen Avars before because the goat is an Avar and very annoying cut to uh, fight against but we do have some some different kind of heroes in the Avar team and one of the best heroes you could get to the Avar will be this guy Hand of Court which gives 35% health for Avar allies and 10% damage resist and 50% slow resist for warriors 25% damage versus inquisitions for allies so let's go next and see what else there is Hacking Winter Breath Breath no, nothing special here to see. I will not go through all these because I do not have those ever. So it's not so interesting. The more interesting will be the, the creatures we're going to talk in a second. But as you see, the best in for Avars is a 3 star. It's not him. We can go in forth and see the power and the health. So they are kind of tanky, slow. I don't know how they look like because I do not have them. But there is a website called Horda Codex where you can go in and see at all the pictures. So we got Hakonite Defender. Attacks all enemies gaining 25% health and power for allies. That's a very good uh, skill to have. Attacks a single enemy for 200% power, percent power. We got the Hakonite Archer attacks a column with a 50% chance to stun, so every second time she had a possibility to stun everybody. The Skywatcher, he must be a new one, I haven't heard about him, I haven't fought him yet, so I don't know really what he do, he attacks one enemy and gains power, attacks and slow all enemies. So he attacks one enemy, but he slows all enemy. Attacks one enemy and gains power, Attacks and slow all that. That that seems very weird description. So let's go for the next one. Thane, Swara, Sun, Hair. We got attacks all enemies and curses them, preventing healing for a turn. Heals and increase power of all allies. So this dude, he attacks all enemies and curses them to not get a, uh, so they cannot heal again. Example will be the architect, which every time he hit, he will heal. This guy, he will prevent to heal. So I see I do have her in tier 1, but I haven't used her at all yet. Let's see next, that's the goats. So they gave 50% health to creatures, good on the creature team. And then we got the rares. I don't see any use of them, so let's go to the creatures. The creatures are a little more exciting because creatures are all the dragons, are all the big, large spots you have. Let's go back. Blighted gonna be next. So let's see. We got Snuck the Bronto. I use him now. Now it's event about the dwarves. Dwarves. So he gave like fifty percent health for dwarves. So he's very good. I will show you a team with the dwarves and Snuck the Bronto. And he will do extra 75% power for broken days, which I really, really, really like to have, but I haven't been so lucky lucky to have get him. Northern Hunter is my favorite dragon. I got her at level 92 in tier 4. A very strong one. Give gains 50% health on a lie death. Attacks all with a small chance to stun each. 50% health to allies, 50% power to white faction. So team her up with white faction will be perfect. Etashi, I don't have. That's another one. Another creature, 50% power for Kanai and Outlaw. So she's a Kanai and an Outlaw. Dragon, good to team up with that. The Highland Ranger, I do not have her. I'm sorry about my pronunciation. Uh, we got Scumbles. He's a very nice creature because he take all all damage, so if there is somebody who hit all, everybody, like uh, like Denarius, he will take like a lot of the, uh, the hit 
in his health. So he's very tanky in tier four. As you see, 28,000 power, uh, health, sorry. We got Snowy Vivian, I do not have this guy. 25% health and power to nobility. Corrupted Spiraling, 35% power and 50% slow resist for Blighted. So she's good to have with the Blighted team. Queen of the Black Marsh. I did have her in tier 4, but I consumed her to Flammet. I didn't, at that time, uh, this dragon did not have 35% health for spirits and all the other stuff. It just attacked all enemies because it didn't got updated yet. I do have her in only in tier 1. Dragon of the Elder One, I do not have. It's a 3 star uh, dragon, 50% power and health to Black Faction. 25% damage versus inquisition for allies. 50% stun, slow and power drain resist to the elder one. So she's good to power up with the elder one. And she gave 25% damage versus inquisition for allies. Corrupted spider queen, I do not have her. She's a large creature. 50% power drain resist, 35% stun resist and 35% power for blighted. So she's a blighted. Spider. Hi Dragon. This is my first dragon ever. I had her since I began to play this two years ago. She was a beast at that time. She attacks all enemies. Wow, now she gains power. I didn't even see that. So that's some new shit. So that's now they upgraded her. So she gave immune to she cannot be stunned. That's another good thing. 35% stun visit for creatures and reavers, plus 35% health for Reavers, so she's good to pair up with the Reavers and she is pretty tanky as well. Let's go for the next, the Mother. The Mother, I haven't seen her. I would love to get her. 35% health and power to Blighted. Plus 35% power drain stun and slow resist to Blighted. So she definitely needs to be on the Blighted team. She's a 3 star, she's like the fat other one with 8 titties. The Blood Mother. The mother is just even better. Let's go for the next one. The giant we do have, he gains medium power when attacked. 25% damage versus creatures, 100% stun resist, 50% stun and power drain resist for outlaws. So she is perfect to have with outlaws. Swift Runner. When he came out, he was all blue and he was like called the wolf, I think. He didn't have all the 35% power for creatures, but now he attacks one enemy, gains power and curses power, 33% chance of attacking again at 200% power and cursing health. So he's a beast. He should be at least a 2 star, I think. Let's go for the next. I got the Gazed Leader. I will not use him. Allies gain a very small amount of power when his hero is attacked. 25% health for creatures. So he gives 25% extra for the creatures, but we do have better Better creatures to be on the creature team. Better cards. The next one is the Bug Swarm. I do have him in tier 4. As you see, he bugs. He did get some upgrade with the look. He's pretty neat right now. I really do have big respect for, for the designers of this game. They did a very good job uh, compared to other card games. This is the best card game I played. Other than, of course, Clash Royale, which also is a card game, but in this game, you just press one and they fight. In the Clash of Royale, Clash Royale, you do you do a strategy, so you put where the cards gotta go, and there is like live fights. So he gave twenty five percent power for Ferelden and Grey Wardens. So he attacks single target with a small chance to stun, slow, or drain power. Let's see the next one. We got Dragon Flammet, she's my favorite, one of my favorite dragons before I got my 3 star dragon. She's a Apostolus, so she's perfect on the Apostolus team, so if you haven't seen that episode about Apostolus, please go back. In my videos you can see her, how she fights, because I'm not gonna show it today, I'm sorry about that. We got Greater Mistral, she's a 3 star dragon as well. 50% stun and slow resist and give 50% health to creatures and spirits. So she's the perfect candidate for spirits and creatures team. 
we got a Sandy Howler here. Attacks all enemies and increase power on all allies. 35% power to allies, 50% health to Red Faction. So she's perfect to pair up with Red Faction. The next is Ferelden Frostback. That's 35% health and power to allies. Deal bonus damage to creatures. So she's good against creatures. So this is gonna be like a creature event. You could put her on an anti-creature uh, team and go and fight. Midsummer is a black faction dragon. She gives power, 50% health, uh, health to, I'm sorry, to the blue faction, not the black. That's right, I use her with my mages because most of my mages, most of the mages are blue. The Leopold, well, there's a good story about this little dude. Uh, the developers, they make a big mistake one day. I remember it was night and I wanted to play. And I wonder if every time I did play, I got a legendary. So that was an error from their side because she was uh, mistaken by a rare. So instead of getting rares, we got legendaries. At that time, I didn't know so much about the tiering, about the fortifying, that you needed to take it in tier 4 because, before you fortify, because then it's going to be a hell to, for, uh, to fully max uh, fortify uh, legendary. So I wasted like 30 of these. I do not have her. I do have her in tier 4. So let's go for the next one. That's Snow Flood. That must be something similar to our uh, other piggy 25% health and power to outlaws and oceans when snowflot dies a lie gains 100% power so when she got killed when the piggy got killed your your other heroes would gain 100% power so that's pretty sick loyal beta dragon slayer a one star dog attacks column and gains a small power 50% health for creatures gains 15% power when hit so she's this is a good card to have on your creature team and it's a quick team and as you see he's kind of tanky as well 20% 20, 20,000 health that's a lot for a quick unit we got a monster here a three star dragon 50% damage resist for gray wardens Versus Grey Wardens, 50% health and power to Blight and T Winter, 100% power to resist to Blight. 25% 25 stun and slow resist to allies, immune to power drain, plus 50% to the Architect. Definitely an Architect team, which is also Blighted. So tear up with Blighted, and you have a monster team. The Hack and Winter's Breath. Breathe, Attacks all enemies, gaining a small amount of health and power for allies. So, gains a small amount of power like that, plus 20% power to warriors, outlaws, and reavers, 50% power to the jaws of Hakon. The Brood Mother, 35% health and power, and 50% slow and stun resist for blighted. The Brood Mother is a two stars large creature, I do not have her. But there is coming a new one, a three star, which is called the mother we will see in a second. So the difference between her and the other one, that's 50 against 35%. Great bear. I do not have the great bear. Wow, he can be very tanky. I see 55,900 in health. So 100% stun resist, 75% power drain. This is 50% power and 20% extra damage resist for rogues and creatures. Let's go for the next so we don't use like two hours to make an episode about the creatures. This is a three star episode, 50% stun. But maybe we should just see some of the interesting one, the Golden Hella. She's 35% power to elves and creatures, so she can be in an elves and creature team. The Phoenix is a quick unit. Takes all enemies and greatly heals self. 25% health to all allies. Up and dead allies gain a large amount of health. So when the large creature die, she is not so tanky as you see 20,000. The other guys will get a large amount of health back. 
Red Illyrian Giant is a good on the, of course, it's Red Illyrian team. There are some different kind of characters, but that will be take another time, 50%. Eva Goat Legendary, that's another, again, she's on a Nava team. We don't have the goat. The Nookalope, I never heard about that. That sounds like a pony piggy. It makes attacks all cursing health and gaining 50%, 15 health, percent health. So this dude is a very tanky, 60,000 health. This must be one of the most in the game. This is amazing. She absorbed 50% of all damage done to the team. Plus 50% health and power for the Nox. So she's good with the Nox. Sir Pounce a lot. I've been trying to get this little kitty, but it's amazing. I cannot get her. I don't know why. I tried to play the purple uh, missions, but no luck at all. Attacks a row of enemy and heal all allies a small amount. 25% power to Anas and Circle Mage. 50% power to Sir Pounce a lot. So he, if you put him together with more cats, you will get more strong. 50% every time. The Winter Fang, I really wanted this and I got him. He got an upgraded look. He do look like this in tier 4, as you see. I'm gonna show him around. Attacks a row of enemies with a high chance of stun. So he go first and he take the back row, usually. And he have a big stat chance to stun. He give 50% power to creatures and spirits. There's a lot of creatures I see. Loved loosely. In the end of this uh, episode, I will open some packs. And we will try to play. I will not talk more about these creatures because it's already 20 minutes. Let's go back to our squad and see the creature team. So my best team is definitely, I'm going to see, I think I got it in spot 2. Nope, spot 3 maybe. No, that's wrong. Did I delete? This is my creature team. As you see here, it's crazy. Let's go and see some fights with the creature team. I know it's the dwarves. Let's claim this. Let's go and take a fight. I just started it. I know it's a little bit late, but let's try to make a fight with the creature so you can see what I mean with the extra power and how strong the team can be. Normally this dude, as you see, 17,000 power, 29,000 in health, just because he he's mixed with the Winterfang. The Winterfang gave like 50% power to the creatures. The Scobles give how much? 35% power and health for creatures as well. So that's a very good mix. We got the uh, Batspawn who also gives 25% power. And we got the Swift Runner who gives 35% power. That's why all these my creatures look different. As you see, 45,000 health normally, got 84,000. This dude got normally 15,000 in health, he got 30,000. So let's try to make a fight against those. I think I'm gonna lose because, as you see, we got the Ogrim Wardens, two of them, the, they are upgraded. But let's do a fight to see the animations. I will make it slow for the first time. Whoop, one hit. Bye, hopefully no second hit. Next. The Dark Spawn. Let's see if the Winterfang can kill the Nyrus in behind. Yes, he did, because he will be very dangerous. The Piggy hits the Dwarf. There we go, one. Oh, he didn't get a double attack, lucky for me. So now my Dragon Go kills his Dragon. And now we have second round. Let's go. One hit, man. 75,000 in power. That's so crazy. And he got a 